Hi, this is Tim. Today we're gonna to talk about how to wire and configure your Allen Bradley PowerFlex 525 drive for a two wire control. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. So a two wire control circuit is what you would see on your basic on off type switch. It's also what you'll see a lot for drive enables coming from PLCs. We're gonna do the on off in this video. We actually have a bunch of PLC wiring exercises later in this series. But for this one, we're just gonna need two pieces of wire. We're gonna slide the front cover off here. And well, this one's actually set up for ethernet, but we're gonna go ahead and just unplug the ethernet and just stick it out of the way. That way we don't get any confusion there. And then we're gonna connect a wire to terminal 11 and two. So we're gonna connect a wire to terminal 11 and it already has one wire in it. Just stick this one right beside of it. This yellow jumper is our enable and we'll talk about it later. And then the other one is going to go into terminal two. So yours should look like this. You have a wire on terminal 11, keeping that yellow jumper from 11 to one and another wire on terminal number two. And then I'm gonna connect these to switch one. It has a normally open contact on the back of it. So we'll just put one of those wires into the bottom of it and the other wire in the top of it. And I just thought about it. Somebody's gonna comment, well, which wire goes where? Well, in a normally open, normally closed, it doesn't matter. Now, if this was an actual control panel we were building, then yes, it would matter which side just for consistency. But if you really need to put one on one specific one, let's make the top one number 11 and the bottom one number two. Okay, and we're done. And I'm gonna leave this ethernet cable just kind of shoved out of the way. That way we're, we don't confuse ourselves thinking anything's happened there and turn the power back on. Okay, and before we go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully snuff out a comment that I know is gonna happen down there is, yes, I am aware that you can program these and connected components work for it. So I'm also aware that they have their own software, but we're gonna do it by the front keypad. Why are we gonna do it by the front keypad? Because there's nothing worse than needing to change a basic drive out in the field and you having to run download software. This is a basic two wire circuit. We should be able to configure it really easily by the front keypad. And we can. From factory defaults, the only thing we're gonna need to change is our start source, which is parameter P046. So if we hit the escape key, first time it's gonna bring up that B01. We hit it a second time. Now the B is gonna be flashing. Let's push up one time. And that's gonna get us to our P3. And then hit enter. And now let's go up to P46. And it's currently set to a value of one. We're gonna change that to a two. Hit enter. Now we can escape all the way back out of that. Switch, switch one. And our motor starts. Switch it off and it stops. So there you have it. There is the basics of a two wire control circuit going to an Allen Bradley PowerFlex 525 drive. Next, we'll cover three wire control. And well, just make sure you subscribe because we're, um, we're going through a very good thorough series on the PowerFlex 525. Again, please smash that like button if you like this video. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.